Welcome back everybody. So we thought we would go through some secret Fire TV codes. Okay, codes you can do to get access to other things to make your Fire Stick work better. Quick solutions, quick tips, all powered by your remote. And there's a few of them. And I guarantee in this list, there's one you do not know. So comment underneath if you see one you don't know. And if you know them all, tell me underneath as well. I'm sure some of you do. There's some are new to me. So let's see what we can do. If you're brand new watching, do remember to hit subscribe. Everything streaming is covered on this channel. Everything streaming. Movies, TV shows, tips, tricks, fire sticks, devices, the lot. And if you're a regular watcher, do hit that share button. So the first combination we're going to do, let's get on our fire stick, is get your fire stick remote and you see the blue Alexa button, double tap it. And what you get is this smart menu. I didn't even know this was here, this smart home. We know you've got the smart home dashboard, which you can select. I didn't know you got this smart menu. So in here, you can check out the weather, your smart home dashboard you can open up, my stuff and the news, and obviously a get started. I don't even know what get started is. Pretty much, it's all about talking to Alexa. Pretty much telling you what you can talk and say to Alexa. But that's by double tapping the Alexa button. You get that menu there, which I didn't even know was there at all. Next one is to check what resolution your device is on. So if you hold on your remote, push the up direction and hold rewind, up and rewind. Hold them down. And that will load up after a few seconds this, where it will ping through all the resolutions you want. And you can select the correct one. It's a good way to check you on the correct setting for your device. So every few seconds, it will try a different resolution. And it will give you a different hertz and a different resolution. And you can select the current one by pushing use current resolution at the bottom. That was by pushing up and rewind on your remote. As you see now, we're on 720p at 60 hertz. It obviously it goes up to 4K on your 4K devices, as long as the cable going in is correct. So it's a very good way to try out all the different ones and it will go through them bit by bit. Another option you can try, if you are after more accessibility and understanding of what's on your TV screen, hold down the fast forward and the rewind button together. If you do this, it will activate a text banner. This text banner here will help you read what's on display a lot clearer, a lot smoother, a lot more information. So you can highlight over something and it will give you the description, everything all in front of you on the screen. Okay, if you wanted to keep it accessible, you can just push the play button to turn it off and on. And if you want to deactivate it again, it's the same way we activated it by holding down the fast forward and rewind. Next one, which is a, a key favorite of mine, which I use very, very often if your device is running a bit sluggish. You might have noticed this on other videos we have done. If you hold down the play button and the select button in the middle, hold them both down. What this will do is put your device through a complete restart. This loads it up fresh without having to go in the menu to do it. This is quite important as your fire stick themselves do not turn off. They do go into sleep mode, they do go into like screensaver mode, but they don't restart unless you pull the plug normally. So it's a good way to give your Fire Stick a good freshen up and a good boost loading in. Another good one we have if you're having trouble with your Fire Stick. If you're at that last resort with your Fire Stick, you don't know what to do. You may need to factory reset. You may not even be able to navigate to where the factory reset is in your settings. So what we do on this one, is hold the back button and the right at the same time. So we've got the back button and right on the directional pad. Hold them down for about 10 seconds again. Yes, I have a list below me if you see me keep looking down. There's a lot of codes to remember. And what this will do, will ping up your factory reset. There is a countdown on this, so if you can't even push the OK button, you can wait for the countdown. But if you're testing it, remember to cancel it. So this will reset factory reset. This deletes everything. Everything will be gone off your Fire Stick. So only do that if you want to start from fresh. But you can do this before you send your Fire Stick back, before you upgrade to a new one because you think it's not working. Definitely worth factory resetting. And the final one, which is an old faithful, the pretty much the system menu. We have a system menu. By holding down the home button, you get your system menu. In your system menu, you can access profiles, apps, mirroring, and your settings really quickly. So that's simply by holding down the home button in the middle. And then from there, you can go to your apps, 
or you can use your system menu to go to settings. Sometimes it's just a bit quicker than scrolling all the way across or going to find apps, those sort of things. Yes, you can also talk to it if you need to, but those are some great tips, some great ones to try and remember. You might only remember one of them, but I guarantee it will come in handy at some point. And obviously, before we leave, do remember to check out the channel. We've got tons of other videos. I am Doc Squiffy. We're closing in on 450,000 is our next target on followers. So do check it out. I've added a new five-star rating for videos. This one will be going in there. These are videos which are really important for people to watch. So when you go to the channel, check out these top videos. Um, it will have some of the newest videos there, the latest updates, plus what is really important for you guys and girls to watch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are the important videos. We've also got some shorts just down below. And of course, a quick word from one of our partners before you leave. IP Vanish VPN is a partner of ours. Um, we partnered with them for a long, long time now. So if you are after a VPN, we've got one of the best prices. 63% off IP Vanish VPN at $3.99 a month. That version and that plan is the 12 month plan, which comes with 12 months um, virus protection as well or antivirus, shall we call it. Um, it is an affiliated link. We are partnered with them. So if you wanted to support the channel, we don't take donations, we don't take memberships, or we don't have a join this, join that. Um, we just have our free subscribe. Um, you can get yourself a VPN, because you might need one. And if you need one, we get a small commission. If you don't want to use our link, that's fine, but I do recommend VPNs um, from IP Vanish. as so this search IP Vanish as well. That is linked underneath for you anyway. Enjoy, hope you like it. And I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Remember, underneath, drop those comments. If you made it this far, let me know which one of those you didn't know about. Surely there was one of them. And if you knew all of them, like I said, do let me know in the comments. Drop any comments. If you have any questions about streaming, any questions about any of our videos, drop it down there. Apologies if I don't get back to you all. We get loads of comments across YouTube. And we're on TikTok as well. We get tons of comments. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on all of these platforms. So follow us on all of them. And you have a good chance of getting a reply. But I can't reply to all of them, I'm afraid, because it's just me. I manage it all on my own. I mod it all on my own. I do everything pretty much on my own when it comes to the Doc Squiffy streaming side of things. Um, apart from the gaming where the wife helps out. Um, when it comes to these videos, I do all the replies. Only me. So I do my best to get back to you. But I apologize if I don't get back to those answers. Brilliant. Do remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you soon.